foam rolling. So one of the key things to foam rolling is you want to move your muscle groups slowly over the foam roller. Some people go a little too quick. You don't want to do that because then the tissue starts to guard against you, meaning it doesn't, it doesn't mold with the uh, foam roller. So you want to make sure that you're going slow so that way we can create more uh, change in the tissue. Um, make sure that you're coordinating your breathing in through your nose, out through the mouth. Uh, if you find a tender spot, stay on that for about 20 to 30 seconds. So starting with my calves. Now you could start with both calves on, but what I like to do is I like to take one, cross my leg on top because I want to add more pressure. I'm going to lift my body off the ground and I'm slowly going to move up and down. Okay, side to side, up and down. You're trying to get all angles of your muscle. Taking deep breaths in and breathing out. Now if I find a spot, like right there for me, that's a trigger point. Find a trigger point sit on it and there's another technique you can try called a contract and relax method so i'm going to try to squeeze my muscle and i'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds and then i'm going to relax relax the muscle but stay on that trigger point for about 30 seconds so constantly go back and forth squeeze relax squeeze relax and then continue foam rolling okay and then we'll switch Again, slowly, deep breathing in, breathing out, okay? After calves, we move up to our hamstrings, same thing. Slowly all the way up, back, side to side, find a trigger point, stay on it. Okay, and then I'll switch and do the other side. Okay, so we're working our way from the floor to our upper body. So, then I'm going to go adductors, the muscle inside. So the way I set up is I get into a push-up position. I'm going to bring my knee out over onto the foam roller. So my leg is bent. Then I'm going to massage sections. So one, two, and three. So just above my knee, I'm just going to go back and forth. Again, slowly breathing in and out. Then I'm going to go midway. So I go middle of my leg. And then I go upper. I try to go right into the groin. Okay? Repeat on the other side. Okay, then we're gonna do quads. Quadriceps, you wanna foam roll right above the knee into the hip. Okay? So, again, laying down, right above the knee, cross your other foot on top to add pressure, and slowly massage up and down. And again, moving your body side to side. You're hunting, looking for painful spots. If you find a trigger spot, stay there. Contract and relax, so squeeze the muscle, hold it, relax, okay? Um, and just hang out there for 30 seconds, but go back and forth on the quads. Then we go into the glutes and the hips. So this one, I'm gonna work on my right leg. I take my right hand, I sit back. I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna cross it over my left. And I'm gonna pull my right knee to, towards my chest. So you should feel a stretch in the hips and the glutes. And I'm slowly gonna lean into my glutes and my hips and I'm, again, searching for painful spots, a little tender, and same thing, massaging all around, back and forth. Then you'll switch to the other side. Still working our way up. We go into mid-back to upper back. So, take your hands, put it behind your head, keep your elbows tight, push through the heels so you're going to bridge up, push with your heels back and forth, going right up middle of the back to in between the shoulder blades. Again, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay. Then we have lats. So that's right behind our armpit, big muscle group that goes down here. I want to make my arm, so if I'm working on my right side, right arm goes all the way out. I'm going to cross my left leg over my body because this is going to be my driving leg. Lift my hips off the ground, and I'm going to massage behind my armpit, down my back. Okay. Again, hunting for spots. Lean back a little bit. Keep reaching forward. Don't let that arm come uh, forward, bring your arm back nice and straight. 
then switch to the other side. Uh, the last two, we have the chest. So if you get your chest, you want to get your pec minor, which is this little muscle here, and a pec major. So you want to get the whole thing. The way we get it is you start off, get the foam roller on an angle, put a mid chest, arm is straight. I'm going to turn my head to the opposite side, and I'm going to breathe in and out. Now for women, uh, you can use a ball and slowly massage this area. So laying down, slowly get at it because the foam roller can be uh, intrusive. So try to use a ball, but be careful. Go a little light on the amount of tension that you're putting on the area. Uh, and then the last one is posterior shoulder. So we want to get the back of the shoulder. Okay. Same setup, kind of like the lat stretch. Put my hands behind my head. Look left leg over, and I'm gonna rotate back and forth, and I'm trying to massage the back of my shoulder. Okay, so my lat underneath my armpit and the back of my shoulder. 